What's going on, everyone? I'm Jaden, and we're here at the NAC Theater tonight showcasing Frisco's Got Talent. Very soon, we'll be showcasing the top 10 finalists competing for a $1,000 prize. So sit back and relax and enjoy the show. On the show host, Jason. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to NAC Theater. And Frisco's Got Talent Season 3 live final show. Who's ready to have some fun tonight? Who in this audience loves somebody that's going to be performing on this stage tonight? I think that is amazing. We need your energy. We're here as a community together to have some fun and to celebrate some amazing talent from eight years old to 80 plus tonight on this stage. Um, so we have so much fun for you. And thank you for being this evening. Happy Friday to all of you. And we have to have judges though. I mean, it's just part of what it is because because Frisco's Got Talent Season 3 is uh, being generously sponsored by the Hill family, Mark and Tiffany Hill. Um, and so we have a $1,000 cash prize for the winner tonight. How about that? So, therefore, these acts, these 10 acts, you saw um, a compilation of our auditions that's the video that you saw and that was put together um where you notice all the cameras and everything it's dallas film school so these are all students they're live streaming and producing this event for us today and we actually are launching dallas film school at frisco so if you have any aspiring filmmakers or actors behind the scenes we have some fun workshops and, and programs coming right up ahead so keep that in mind thank you for that so thank you we have 15 students here tonight operating cameras and doing all kinds of things and it's being live streamed so you can go to um, film school frisco uh on instagram let's say and you can tell people that aren't here they can watch the live stream right now if you wanted to do that uh, but let's introduce our judges the first judge i'm honored to bring forth is crystal howard there she is. My friend Crystal is the president and CEO of the Frisco Chamber of Commerce. And um, she's also, uh, she's got a drummer in her family as well. So that makes her a music expert, I guess. Um, but anyway, welcome Crystal. Thank you so much for being here. Next up, we have the guy that literally built this theater, the president and CEO of NAC Development. Donnie Churchman. There he is. He tried to trick me earlier and it didn't work. Just, just keep that in mind. I'll tell you about it later. Um, next up, we have another very special judge, Michelle Norris. Michelle works with the city of Frisco. She's the cultural affairs division manager, and she is one of the most talented people I've ever met in my life. Welcome, Michelle. Thank you for being here. All right. All right, let's check in with the judges real quick. Um, you saw our auditions, and now we have our 10 uh, finalists that you selected. So, Crystal, what are you looking for this evening? Well, Jason, I'm, first of all, I don't know about y'all, but I'm super nervous. I, I don't know if the contestants are nervous, but they did so great the last time, and I know they're going to bring it tonight. So I can't wait, but then I know that puts the pressure on us because we have a tough decision to make, I'm sure of it. I'm outnumbered, so I'm going to get overruled, I'm sure, after this uh, show. Um, likewise, the talent is phenomenal. We're year three. This is definitely the best talent we've had of the three years. So we got uh, really, really, really good talent tonight. I'm looking forward to it more than anything. You know, Frisco is a city of phenomenal. So I just encourage you all to bring it tonight because it's going to be a steep competition. Right on. Thank you, judges. All right, audience, I have one request from you. Um, these acts have been working so hard and and training and have coaches and different things. And so can you help me out by showing them lots of enthusiasm this evening? Lots of love? All right. Um, when Donnie built this, when Donnie built this theater and, and he brought me in after the fact, and, and I'm honored to be able to help um, bring it to life. Uh, this stage is for winners and learners. And tonight, that's what we're going to see. We're going to see lots of winners and learners. Um, and we're going to start with our first act of the evening. Now, this 
person tried out as a soloist, but he decided to compete in the finals as a band. So please welcome to the stage Luciana Rojas and the Soul Steelers. How are y'all doing? We're doing great tonight. Luciano, to tell us a little bit about your band that you've got joining us. All right. So um, I actually met Mike a little over a year ago now at this point. He, Hi, um, yeah. Um, <laughs> I met him at Rockstars of Tomorrow Frisco, and um, I joined a band with him and Ken called Pink Slip. We play there and do a lot of the performance stuff there. And I started doing some work with just the two of them. And yeah, it's just really fun to try that out, and it's kind of what we do. Well, excellent. So what are you guys performing for us this evening? Um, we're going to be playing a song called Gravity, but we're going to do it a little bit differently from the radio version that you might have heard. Excellent. Well, when you guys are ready, take it away. <laughs> Thank you. 
what a chance to say, yeah. Like the one I've cut. Oh, no. It's one and more. It's gonna send me to my knees. Whoa, whoa. Gravity. Stay the hell away from me. Just keep me where the light is. Just keep me where the light is. Just keep me where the light is. Oh, you keep you warm. Keep yourselves where the light is. Keep yourselves where the light is. Uh, little known facts, or maybe unknown facts, uh, 14, 16, 19, am I getting that right? 14-year-old drummer, 16-year-old singer, 19-year-old bass player. The second thing is all of their hair has been inspired by our very own Donnie Churchman. So, well done, boys. Judges, what do we think? What a fantastic way to kick off Frisco's Got Talent Season 3. Fantastic. What do you think, audience? Yeah, it was excellent. I really loved all your personal touches to that song and how you kind of just changed it up a bit and made it your own. Um, great job, gents. Great job. Thank you so much. Yeah, great, great start to the show. You kind of set the bar for everyone else. I wrote down smooth like butter, right? That's uh, how Thank your voice you. was coming across. 
Um, but I, I personally really love the instrumental part. Um, towards the end there, when you, you started going, uh, I really enjoyed that. You two back mm -hmm. there were phenomenal. Great work. I agree. To win this competition, you have to do more and a little bit better than last time, which is what made me nervous coming in because everybody was so great last time. But you did that tonight. Thank you great very job. much. All right. There they are. Luciano Rojas, number one. The Soul Stealer. <laughs> That's the way you start a show, right? We got a little rock and roll. Um, so they're going to strike all of this band equipment. It's going to take us a second. So... Um, we are going to let them do that very carefully. But, but while they're doing that, I wanted to share with you guys that we are uh, really honored to be partnering with Rockstars of Tomorrow. Now, this is one of the bands that's part of their program. They're located over at Stonebrook and the Tollway, and they have a program where, where aspiring artists want to join a band. And Vanessa and Kirk and their whole team and their instructors, they have a studio. They, they teach them how to be a band, how to write music, how to produce it, record it. It's super cool. If you're ever in that, you know where, um, what is it, the Owl Bar and uh, what else is over there? What is it? Zao Star China Food. What was the other one? Kona, of course. It's in that shopping center over there. Um, it's really cool. I happen to be meeting actually Donnie over there, and I wandered in and took a tour, and it's amazing. So go check it out if you're in the neighborhood. All right. Um, the other thing I wanted to do is once again thank from the bottom of my heart Mark and Tiffany Hill for we can't do stuff like this without sponsors and people in the community that care about artists and and making the stage available and and their generosity and their uh, tenacity for supporting. You know, I don't know if you know Mark is also so a uh, trustee on the FISD school board, uh, partner in a law firm in town, his wife Tiffany and their, their daughter. Amazing family. So thank you again. I think maybe they're here. I don't know. Are you guys? There he is right there. And there's Tiffany. I go, I thought I saw. So thank you again, Mark. Um, he'll be on stage to help us unveil the, um, the winner. And he just learned that right now. So, um, so that's good. So that was a little warning. All right, look, we're, we're getting there. The other thing I wanted to tell you with our film school, um, since they're streaming it, this is going to be edited into an actual TV show. So that's why sometimes it's a little slower, a little bit whatever. So, you, so the performers and stuff will be able to have this and take forward and show their friends and people that couldn't be here like a, a I don't know, 30-minute or so produced TV show. So that'll be kind of cool too, right? Um, yeah, so thank you, Film School Frisco. And once again, if you didn't know you were doing that, now you do. No, <laughs> we'll just make projects up as we go along. What should we have Michelle do? No, she's got a lot to do. Michelle Norris actually pretty much runs this city, if you didn't know. I mean, she, the cool parts, the things you don't like, no, that's the mayor and those other people. But Michelle does the cool parts. We love the mayor, come on. And if you don't, pretend you do, because I whatever i i'm gonna stop right there i'll be right back <laughs> can we have some music dave like this between every performance the band was just a little extra 
Can you believe Luciano just learned the guitar last week? It's amazing. He just picked it up. It's amazing. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to introduce our second act to the stage. So please help me in welcoming Stephanie and Jean. <laughs> Stephanie and Jean, welcome back. Oh, thank you. So I am so excited to see what you're doing tonight. But before we get to that, there are people who are new in the audience tonight. And we loved your story so much. Can you make sure to just tell us kind of how you got in to this talent? Your turn. <laughs> I decided I needed to get more exercise. And in the process of looking around, I didn't want to join another gym. Just walking up and down the sidewalk wasn't my thing. And I reminded myself that I never saw a tap dancer with a frown on their face. <laughs> so I said, hey, that's going to be great exercise. So I started calling around. I'd introduce myself. I'm an 82-year-old man who's never danced before, and I don't play a musical instrument, and I'm looking for a beginning tap dance. <laughs> Dead silence until somebody finally put me in touch with Stephanie. And she was brave enough to take me on. And we've been having a ball for a year and a half now. And despite what it may look like, I've got to give credit to her talent as a teacher, persistence, and Lord only knows patience <laughs> for anything that we're able to pull off tonight. That guy right there, that guy. Well, Jean, we saw your moves. You have talent too. So what are you going to dance to tonight? Well, you know, last time we danced to the one I love belongs to somebody else. And tonight we're dancing to all right, okay, you win. <laughs> Perfect. Let's see it.
Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, uh, just so you know, we do have a combined age up here. So you heard like the youngest is like eight, right? <laughs> we win. 131. Well, Jean, you said you hadn't seen a tap dancer that wasn't smiling. I don't think there's a person in this audience that could not smile watching that. Great job. Now, I'll tell you what, when we built this theater, the idea was to build a youth theater. Um, but the true idea was to bring smiles to everyone's faces where you can see performances like we just saw. So you guys nailed it. Thank you so much. Well, Stephanie, your patience and Jean, your persistence absolutely paid off. That was fantastic, and I loved it. It just made me want to go home, bust out my tap shoes that are in the closet, and come join y'all. Great take job. My class. Come it. take my class. Yes, girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's Donnie, it could be the fountain of youth theater, yes. right? How about that? Oh. We'll just. You guys, it's awesome. Uh, Stephanie Hengsenberg is an instructor with the, Dal or the, the Dallas Conservatory in Frisco. Um, her and her husband, Bill, they're all over the city doing so many awesome things. I've known Stephanie for a while. They also have a cool, uh, you know those yard signs that you put up for parties and stuff like that? What's it called? Let's, still give, let's give a little plug. Oh, thank you, Yardogram. Yeah. Yardogram. Yardogram. So hit them up, you know? She's doing amazing things and uh, I just have so much respect. And Gene, you, you're a devil, Gene. Look, he's got the red. He's, this guy, he's got something to say, I can tell. No, I just have one personal announcement. This happens to be my daughter's birthday, and this was her gift for tonight. So happy birthday, to you. Hold on one sit stand by. Can you guys start setting up Valentina? And while we while they do that, we need to sing Shannon Happy Birthday, don't you think? <laughs> Led by her dad. So you take this microphone. Oh. Okay. All right. One, two, three, it's Shannon. One, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. That's how you kill some time, too. You see that little <laughs> post trick? That was pretty good, right? I shouldn't have said that. You would have been totally pulled. No. Um, what was I going to tell you about that? There was something. I had a thought. Oh, well. I guess I forgot. Hi, babe. How about my wife, Christy Young? Let's just say that. <laughs> We're getting ready for Valentina. It's coming up next. I know what I was going to say. When you're producing a show like this and you have to stage the acts and who's going first and second, you like to keep genres together. So I had, of course, a rock band, and then I had the tap dancers. It makes sense, right? It totally, <laughs> it just flowed right into the next thing. Um, maybe not, but let's see. Uh-oh. What did I do? We have so much equipment in here that we did chords because otherwise it could be interrupted, you know, and that's not good. So we wanted the mics to work for these performers. So we're getting set for our next one. Hey, give it up for Kirk, everybody. Rock stars of tomorrow. This guy himself is an amazing musician. Uh, what's your Instagram? Kirk Douglas on Instagram. And watch this guy shred a guitar. It'll blow your mind. Yeah, it's amazing. Are we ready for her? Okay, so let's welcome to the stage our next performer, please, Valentina Basefki. <laughs> and the cutest guitar you've ever seen in your life. Miss Valentina.
Well, good evening, Valentina. How are you tonight? You? Great. I'm loving those tights, by the way. They're <laughs> fabulous. So you played piano during the audition, right? Mm -hmm. So how many instruments do you play? Uh, two. Just these two. Okay, great. So, Valentina, what are you performing for us this evening? Um, Dear John by Taylor Swift. Oh, can't wait. <laughs> Take it away. Uh, okay. Oh, 
me, so don't look now. I'm shining like fireworks over your sandy down. Hey. Oh. 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 She's just like, and you're older. <laughs> you you sing at such a mature level for a 10-year-old. Thank you. It's so good. Do you want to do a show here? Yes. Hey! Who's coming? Everybody coming? Yes. I tell you, just, just like this show started off, and it's been this way as you're the third one, everyone is so talented. Great job. Thank you. Valentina, that was, that was beautiful. Especially for your age, like Donnie was saying, your voice is so mature. What I think is even more impressive is what a natural performer you are and how comfortable you were sitting there on stage. And it's like, it's just something that's second nature to you. And I hope no matter what happens tonight, I hope that I always find you on stage because you are very gifted in this realm. So congrats. Thank you. Oh, well said, Michelle. Valentina, you are incredible. I got video while we were sitting here last time of you singing Killing Me Softly, and I've shown everybody since then. And then I say, do you know how old she is? And nobody can believe it because your voice is so strong, so mature. You have a future. Good job. Thank you. Valentina. <laughs> High five, girl. Hey, can I tell you something? Um, I have to say thank you. You know why? Because my daughter's here. She's nine. She's right there. That's Cambria. Say hi to Valentina. Uh, she's a huge Taylor Swift fan, and she's been begging me to take her to her concert because there's only <laughs> Indianapolis, Miami, and New Orleans left, right? The tickets are like $4,000 each. You just got to see Taylor Swift right here. We don't have to go. This is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing job, Valentina. Give her one more hand, please. How could Taylor be better than that? I don't think I'm going to be that easily off the hook. Am I, Cam? No. All right. We're going to clear this. And then we have our next exciting performer. It just keeps getting better and better, guys. I'm telling you. She's going to have the mic in hand. Yeah. 
Okay, and as we get the microphone ready, I'm going to please welcome to the stage our next performer, Chelsea Jones. <laughs> She comes walking along. Come on, I'm going like this with you. Um, I'm going to tell you a secret about Chelsea, okay? Not only is she amazing, look at her. She's beautiful. She had her wisdom teeth out on Monday. All four. And this fighter said, I'm singing, and I'm coming to this stage tonight. So keep that in mind and give it up for Chelsea Jones. <laughs> Chelsea, that's brave. I was a big wimp when I had my wisdom teeth out. So kudos to you for being here. The medication is working. <laughs> <laughs> Last time you sang a beautiful song, it was Broadway, wasn't it? Yes, it was. What are you singing for us tonight? Another Broadway. Oh, okay, which uh, one? It's called Someone Like You from Jekyll and Hyde. Oh, yes. Okay. Take it away. You've got this. I peer through windows, watch life go by, dream of tomorrow, and wonder why the past is holding me, keeping life at bay. I wander lost in yesterday. Wanting to fly, but too scared to try. But if someone like you found someone like me, then suddenly nothing will ever be the same. My heart would take me with, and I'd feel so alive if someone like you found me. So many secrets I long to share. All I have needed is someone there to help me see the world I've never seen before. I love to open every door to set me free so I can solve. someone like me then suddenly nothing will ever be the same it'd be a new way to live a new life to love if someone like you found me
tough, brave, and talented Chelsea Jones, everybody. Chelsea, once again, that was exceptional. And just like last time, not only was your voice beautiful throughout, but you took us on a journey. And I love being on that journey with you. Great job. Michelle just said this about Valentina, and it's true for you too. You belong on stage. Thank you. You are so entertaining and just incredible skill that, as you just said, took us on a journey. And it was incredible. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. So you have wonderful poise and presence on stage. And I just need you to get involved in musical theater here somewhere in Frisco because you are phenomenal. And with that big, beautiful Broadway voice, you would really get all the auditions that you want. I, I think you do a phenomenal job in that regard. So thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Chelsea Jones. Congratulations. You did great. I had um, like a dermatologist like shave something you know whatever whoa, yesterday whoa, whoa, whoa. you know like a razor thing yesterday morning and i'm up here like oh, it hurts and like my eyes water she had four wisdom teeth out and she's up here singing her face off unbelievable chelsea i'm so proud of you that was so good um okay and we can move right along can we cut that out of the tv show you can't Don't that break. part there will be no part of me on a team. It'll just be. Wait, can I add the that cool Cam said he got a mole removed. It was a mole removed. <laughs> it hurt. They go, wait, you can feel that? And they go, what do you mean? Yeah, and they're like, you're not supposed to feel that. I go, well, maybe you should have numbed it. <laughs> oh, they go, we did. I go, well, why don't you wait for it to work? It hurt, man. TMI theater. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Barrows, MD. I should be nice. He's, uh, we have an Allstate agency and he's one of my customers, so I should be nice. Thank you, Dr. Barrows. Um, <laughs> he's awesome. <laughs> All right. Are we ready for our next performer or should I say something else inappropriate? Yes. Let's do, I mean, that's the end of the way. Okay, I'm going to move this over here. I'm sorry. And then um, please welcome to the stage. The talent just keeps flowing, you guys. I'm telling you, I don't really know how you judges are going to do this because our next act is incredible. Please welcome to the stage, Piper Smith. <laughs> Keep those applause going, can we? <laughs> Good evening, Piper. Welcome back. You. Are you excited tonight? Yes. Let's start with your age. Tell everyone how old you are. I'm 11 years old. 11. Okay. And you competed with a combined age of 131. <laughs> okay. Are you excited? Yes. What are you going to sing for us tonight? Rise Up by Andre Day. Oh, oh. big song. Are we, we are looking forward to it. Broken down and tired of living life on the merry-go-round, and you can't find the fight. But I see it in you, so we go walk it out. Ooh, mountains, we go walk it out. Mountains, and I'll rise up, I'll rise like the day, I'll rise up, I'll rise unafraid, I'll rise up, and I'll do it a thousand times again. And I'll rise up, I like the waves, I'll rise up in spite of the Be 
the silence isn't quiet And it feels like it's getting hard to breathe And I know you feel like dying But I promise we'll take the world to its feet Move mountains Bring it to its feet Move mountains and i'll rise up i'll rise like the day i'll rise up i'll rise on a brain i'll rise up and i'll do it a thousand times again that we have each other and felt that we have each other and we will rise we will rise we will rise oh, oh, oh. we'll rise I'll rise up rise like the day in spite of the ache, I will rise a thousand times again. And I'll rise up high like the waves. We'll rise up in spite of the ache. We'll rise up and we'll do a thousand times again. still do that? Do you give five anymore? Is that a thing? I don't know. It's a fist bump. Sorry, fist bump. There you go. Judges, what do we think? Piper, I don't know if you've been told, but you are a performer, my friend, and that was fabulous. That bold, beautiful, soulful, confident voice of yours is, is something I don't hear from a lot of people your age. And I think you're the one that, if I recall from our auditions, I thought, wow, what a voice in that tiny little package. And it's fantastic. And I hope that you always love singing because you just have it. So thank you for sharing your talent with us tonight. Thank you. First of all, you're adorable. You are adorable. We're looking at her. She's not just the cutest thing. And then your voice. Like, I don't feel like I should use the word cute for someone with such a big voice. And oh, her. everyone has it, not you, Jason. I thought you were talking about me. I'm sorry. And everybody has one thing in common so far tonight, and it's exceptional. Just so good. Yeah, your voice is not cute. It's not cute at all. It is powerful, and it is strong. And that, yes. <laughs> but I agree with Donnie. You are too cute. And that was just so much fun. No, no not, 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 you're not too cute. You're not too I cute. Know. You are too cute, Piper. Thank you so much for sharing that song with us tonight. Thank you. Piper Slated. I got to um, chat with Piper's mom and dad earlier. I know they're so proud of you. I can just feel it from back there. Are you proud, mom and dad? Okay. I'm so, I'm so proud of you. Like I told them earlier, I, go, I just met you and I'm so proud of you. So congratulations. You did a great job. Okay. Excellent day. So we're halfway through the show. Can you imagine how much talent and we still have half to go? Um, so let's bring our next act to the stage. Please 
give a warm welcome to Grace Figueroa. <laughs> How are we doing? Good evening, Grace. Hello. So excited that you're back with us this week. Um, what are you going to be singing for us this evening? I'm going to be singing I Want to Dance with Somebody by Whitney Houston. So wow. I better see you guys dancing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Take it away. Huh. Somebody, oh, 
man, can I just say how happy I am right now? Like, did you see the band? Those knuckleheads that were here with all the hair? They were dancing like crazy back there. They were, they were like rockers, and they're dancing to Whitney Houston because of you. That is so good. Good dancing, by the way, boys. I like that. And, and you know, I just have to say it. I have to say it. But when Grace, when Grace auditioned, um, she had just lost a friend, and um, it was so raw, and she, she auditioned anyway. Like, and I don't even know how you sang because you were so emotional, and it was so beautiful. Um, I watched it like a thousand times. Um, your name is so perfect for your aura. You know, Grace, like just the way you perform, like the way you got these people moving and just from, but seeing you that day where you, you know, was a hard day and I'm sure you're still, but like the way you just rocked it, girl, man, I'm so happy. So thank you. Good job. I am very happy too. That was excellent. That was, I mean, I could feel the crowd behind me. I couldn't see them, but I could feel them. So I think everyone loved that performance. So excellent, excellent singing. Thank you. What a fabulous cover of a Whitney Houston song. Bravo, ma'am. That's not an easy one to master. You know, what I really enjoy about a performer is when they love what they do, but more importantly, that they have fun while they're doing what they love. And I believe both of those of you. And I was just so impressed with that performance and the way you got this crowd behind you. Excellent job tonight, Grace. Thank you. Yeah, I have to say, I agree with Michelle. I agree with Donnie. They both called you a performer, said it was a great performance. That's exactly what it was. You did not just sing that. You owned it. You rocked the whole stage. And I didn't see what the guys were doing in the back, but you had backup dancers on the ready right here <laughs> because they were dancing in their seat with you. So it was fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Great job. Great figure out. Congratulations. Okay, don't trip. All right, speaking of dancing, that's a good segue. You'd think maybe I planned it. Um, let's see, that's not, no, okay. I'll have an announcement before our next group comes. Um, unfortunately, I, I am part of this next group. However, um, I have uh, my, my uniform, or my costume, I guess it's called, got lost at the dry cleaner. So I will not be performing this evening. I know you're disappointed. I'm sort of a feature in it, um, but I am part of the group. I am part of the group. So please welcome my fellow group, the Movement Project Junior Company. This time you? Oh, look at her. She wants it back. You better let her talk, too. Ladies, last time you were superheroes. Tell us what you're doing today. We're going to tap dance. Oh, Okay. Well, I can't wait to see this, but before we do, will you please tell us everybody's ages in the group? Um, I'm Ashley Ann, and I'm 12. I'm London, and I'm <laughs> 11. I'm Zulika, and I'm 10 years old. I'm Brooklyn, and I'm 8. And I'm Jaylee, and I'm 9. Oh, my goodness. And how long have you been dancing together? This is our first year dancing all together. Okay. Were you guys excited during that song? I saw you dancing over here. It's hard not to dance, right, when you hear the music come on? Okay, well, let's play your music because we want to see it. One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, rock. Nine, ten, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, rock. We're gonna rock around the clock tonight. What is that bright song? Join me home.
chimes ring five, six and seven. We'll be right in seven. Hey, we're going to rock around the clock tonight. We're going to rock, rock, rock till Broadway. We're going to rock, we're going to rock around the clock tonight. Oh, well, it's eight, nine, ten, eleven, two. I'm going strong. Shout out to the director, Sean Lawson. Ladies, that was so good. So much fun. I, you were so much fun last time, but this was even more fun. You guys were amazing. I only wish we had one more show left so we could incorporate Jean and in with you tap dancing because <laughs> like that. that's the only thing that could have been more fun. That was incredible. Y'all did a great job. Best compliment I can give is I smiled the whole dance. It was, that was a lot of fun, and I agree. It was last time was good, and this was even better. The so great, great dancing. Ladies, that was truly entertaining. And my next comment is probably you're probably way too young to get it, but that was so reminiscent of a USO performance, and I just loved it. You don't get to see that kind of um, talent on the stage. It's so old school and wonderful and beautiful. You're high energy. You hit all your marks. I love your facial expressions and how different each and every one of you were and just the confidence that you exude while you're on stage. Brilliantly done. Great job. Thank you. Movement Project Junior Company. Girls, let's come on. Like we, like we always do after every rehearsal, put our hands in. <laughs> Ready? Movement on three. Ready? One, two, three. Movement! All right. That's what we do. I'd also like to salute their parents. You know how much work it is for a family to, you know, the expense, the uniforms, the practices, the carpooling, all this stuff. But congratulations to, to all the, the parents and guardians that are um, providing this opportunity for your kids. And once again, Sean, excellent job, man. You are so good. Um, congratulations. No, sadly, I am not part of the movement project. Um, I wish I wish I was. They're so good. It is a movement, though. Like our film school is a movement. That's what we call it. Hey, I have a guest. Ho uh, you don't want to help me? Okay, never mind. We have a change of plans. Um, I had somebody who was going to introduce our next act. Come on. All right. Yeah. Guest host. Wanted to introduce our next performer of the evening. Please welcome Cambria Young. Please welcome to the stage, Harper Blair. Harper Blair, everybody. Keep it going for Harper. What's up, girl? Good evening, Harper. Hello. You're so sparkly and beautiful. I love it. Thank you. What are you going to be singing for us tonight? Um, I'm going to sing Hold My Hand by Lady Gaga from Top Gun Maverick. Oh, I can't wait to hear it. Go for it. Hold my hand, everything will be okay. I heard from the heavens that clouds have been gray. Pull me close, wrap me in your aching arms. 
I see that you're hurting. Why do you take so long to tell me you need me? I see that you're bleeding. You don't need to show me again. But if you decide to, I'll brighten this life with you. I won't let go till the end. So cry tonight, but don't you let go of my hand. You can't cry every last year. I won't leave till I understand. Promise me, just hold my hand. Raise your head. Look into my wishful eyes. That fear that's inside you will lift. Give it time. I can see everything you want to now. Your prayers will be answered. Let God whisper how to tell me you need me. I see that you're bleeding. You don't need to show me again. But if you decide to, I'll ride in this life with you. I won't let go till the end. So cry tonight, but don't you let go of my hand. You can't cry every last year. I won't leave till I. almost taller than me girl those got the boots those are some rocking boots there all right judges what do we think that performance was absolutely mesmerizing great job i loved how you owned gaga's song tonight it was fantastic and i just i just think you're you look so comfortable on stage i feel like you just that's like your second home and you did a wonderful job so thank you thank you are you nervous at all um i was very nervous very nervous are you still nervous not very much. Okay. No, there's no reason to be because you were awesome. Awesome. I'm not going to give away what I'm thinking, but you were the third person to give me goosebumps tonight. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, Harper, truly, that was incredible. And you seemed completely confident. So where the nerves were, I don't know. Your voice was strong. You did fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you. Harper Bleer, everybody. So proud of you, girl. Good job. Uh, as she leaves the stage, we're going to get, we have our next musician has a keyboard. So we have a little minute. So um, I wanted to also congratulate her. Uh, she works with a vocal coach, Miss Blessed Anaya. She's sitting right there. And um, 
Miss Blessed, she's also a, a music teacher at Newman Elementary. I have that right, I believe. And she is hosting uh, on her own accord. She's hosting a music camp uh, this summer for two different weeks here at Knack Theater. Oh, four weeks? Oh. Girl, I better charge more then. What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's four weeks. I just looked. I saw two. You're right. It said week two and week three. Okay, come up here for a minute. Come help me. Uh -oh. Save me. On the spot. You can come to the stairs. That's a big step. Let Miss and I, you. Let's give her a hand. She pours so much into children in our community, and she's a one talented individual. But please tell our audience about the four weeks of camp. Hi, yes, so we have four different weeks here. Um, it's called Miss and I Was Music Camp. If you look up my name, I'm kind of famous online. So if you look me up, you'll find me. But yes, it is four weeks here. Um, it starts May all the way till um, July. And it's for kids ages five to what, 11, 12? And um, yes. 12. And um, if you have a child in middle school or high school, they can volunteer as a camp leader. So yes. Thank you. And it's like 8 to 12.30, right? And it's she's $150 for the whole week. So I think it's a nice, nice price, a nice deal. And um, the kids will have a lot of fun. So come check it. You can look at knacktheater.com for info. And that's an easy way to remember as well. All right. Okay, we're getting set up here. We have two performers to go, and then I don't know what you guys are going to do. I really don't. Who do you think's going to win so far? Shout the name out. Jason. Oh, thank you. All I heard was Jason. That's all I heard. Um, no, there's still two that you're supposed to say we can't say yet because there's two more performers coming. <laughs> I tricked you. All right, are we ready? You were good? Okay. Please welcome to the stage our ninth contestant of the evening, Sean Basefki. <laughs> well, I was about to warn the crowd, Mr. Personality's back for the finale. Good morning. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I'm back. How are you? Sean, great. How are you? Dandy. What, what are you going to perform for us tonight? It's called Japanese. Uh, it's a song about falling in love with clothes since, since, since falling in love with a girl is just too hard. So I said, <laughs> falling in love with clothes sounds a bit better. So <laughs> falling in love with clothes it is. So we're singing about falling in love with clothes instead of... You know, yeah. Okay. I was, I was, I was, I was like, man, clothes... It. <laughs> uh, I'm excited. Everyone else excited to hear this? This is going to be great. All right. Um. Sir, I'm so sorry. Can I have those girl for just a bit? Just a tad bit. <laughs> yeah. Um. Cheers. I don't stand in line, I don't pay for clubs, not that, but I wait for you, and I don't like to drink, I don't like to think, not that, but I fall under you. I'm bending it over, you're my fall leaf clover. I'm so in love, so in love. 
There's no one above or above. My blue jeans, they will last me all. My life, unlike girls, so should we. I'm spending all my time Met you at the shop, sun was getting high I'm lonely I'm in the city on my own Never thought you'd be the one I gotta hold me I'm reaching Rwanda, goodbye sweet Rwanda, high school was never for me, I said let it be, let it be. My blue jeans, they will last me all my life. So should we, I'm spending all my time Clothes, 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 clothes. I love that. I'm <laughs> so glad. I love that. I love and clothes. I, I actually wrote down here, which to me is a huge compliment, Michael Buble. Ooh. I can totally see you crooning and doing your thing on stage, making us laugh, enjoying your voice, all the above. That, that was a really entertaining. Thank Thanks. you so much. I was actually thinking the exact same thing. I was like, wow. So I loved it. I thought it was fun. I thought it was a brilliant you. and creative performance. Thank you so much. And I just much. really enjoy your personality Thank and you. what you bring to the stage. So bravo, sir. Thank you. Yeah, I could sit here. I, are you going to offer him a show too? Because yeah. I think we could sell that show out. That was incredible. You Thank did a great you so job. Much. It was so much fun. Thank you. Cheers. Great job. Thank you so much. Sean Pasetsky, everybody. <laughs> While we're clapping, help me clap for uh, Dave Kiernan, who runs our audio here for us. Thank you, Dave. And of course, Kurt, the rock stars of tomorrow, who's been helping make sure all these instruments and, I mean, you know, uh, believe it or not, I know this is going to be surprising. I don't do this all the time. Like, like, this is just sort of like a hobby, right? Like, just like showed up tonight. But anyway, thanks to these guys. It kind of looks like it could be professional. So congratulations. Thank you. I'm in the way. Um, I also wanted to, before we bring our last act, and we're going to have a, another keyboard coming out, uh, I wanted to thank my friend, Donnie Churchman. And I wanted to thank you, bro, because I'm watching this performance. We partnered together on what we call good old-fashioned entertainment. And so our vision, shared vision, has been to be able to um, create opportunities for, for the community to get together, for artists of all different ages to be able to express themselves and learn and grow. And um, he built this theater before I knew him. Um, 
with that in mind. And then when I met him and he showed it to me, it was like a bolt of lightning to me. I thought it was really cool. And so I was all in on trying to figure out what we could do with that. And, um, and thank you. Thank you for, for having the courage to step out and build. A, there's no other community theater like this in the country. I've looked. They're all subsidized by governments or city governments and stuff like this. That is not this place. This is a private effort. <laughs> he got shot. <laughs> you missed me. That was Ronald Reagan. Did you like that? You missed me. Uh, anyway, what? I don't know what just happened. Feedback. I compliment Dave and see what happens. I should have waited till the show was over. Just kidding. No, but in all honesty, Donnie, thank you. Thank you for going out and building this theater. And thanks for letting me be a part of it. Uh, I guess that was like a virtual hook or something that just happened to me. Like, shut up. Okay. So we have one more very talented performer. Are we sure that's not going to happen? Whatever just happened? Yeah? Everything? Okay. All right. We're going to cross it. It hurt my mole removal. <laughs> ah. It's not, they said it's not supposed to hurt. I go, well, then why is there a knife in my chest? Are we back to that? It hurts right now because when that happened, did you see my reflex? Like, I was ready to save you all. And then it hurt. All right, I'm not used to moving that quickly. All right, what is going on over here? Oh, you're, you're getting ready to interview everybody after, yes? Okay. All right. I'm like, there's a line of people to my left. All right, so we're good, we're good. Let's welcome to the stage our 10th act of the evening, Raven DeBolt. <laughs> Last but not least, we've had so much fun tonight. Thank you for finishing it up for us. What are you going to be uh, playing, singing, all the above? No. I mentioned that my song is so going to be playing today. It is called I'm Done. And the background behind this song is um, two years ago, I really insanely relationship that was sure other people can relate as well. Um, honestly, through it, that whole year of my life, and it was a lot to come back from. Oh, this is the song that came out of it. Looking forward to it. Thank you for having the bravery to share it with us. Every 
place at last bright The now makes me cry Even the lights in the cities Dreams about stars in the sky Well, that was about as raw and emotional as it gets. So thank you for sharing that with us and not just sharing the story, but the talent, uh, because that, that was really pleasing to the ear uh, and just how into it you were. That's the thing when you write your own song and get to play it for us, you can really get that emotion. And we definitely felt it. Amazing job. You know, being a singer songwriter is all about writing your lyrics creating your instrumentals and then putting it all together for one amazing performance. And that was absolutely amazing. Thank you for the truly heartfeltness that was shining through your music tonight. And then just the stunning vocals that went along with it. Bravo, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah, Raven, you are a true artist. That was absolutely beautiful. And I hope you take this as a compliment. This is always risky to do what I'm about to do. But I, I say this because I'm a huge fan of this person. Huge. Alanis Morissette. Yeah. Okay, good. It's always risky. My favorite first concert I ever went to. And you were giving me all those vibes. It, it was so good. So good. 
Raven DeBolt, everybody. You know, Raven, um, real fast, 10 acts. They're starting some interviews over here with the acts, and the, the judges are going to, we're going to dismiss them. But I just wanted to share, Donnie and I were in Nashville two weeks ago, three weeks ago, something like that. And we were going to the different honky tonks and, and seeing, and you know, you, you go and it was like Tuesday at like noon, let's say. And there's these places, they have three floors and they had a musician on every floor just playing their hearts out. Um, and, and you go to the next place and the next place. And there's, I mean, there was just music coming out of every inch of this place. If, yeah, you guys have probably been there if you haven't. Um, and there's so much talent and you watch them and you're like, well, what, why, why is Luke Combs on the radio? And this guy that's like, I mean, he sounds the same, you know, Tootsie's Orchard, whatever. And it's because, <laughs> and it's because I think it's the songwriting right? If that's what sets people apart, is their ability to write a song, tell a story. And so I just encourage you, girl, do not stop doing what you're doing. Keep writing, keep writing some more. And when you're tired, write again. Um, keep performing. If you don't win this competition tonight, so what? Just keep doing it. Um, you're amazing. I'm so proud of you. Way to go. Congratulations. All right. And Speaking of Nashville, so out of that trip, on Monday, May 13th, um, we are turning this room into Frisco's first honky-tonk. So we're actually bringing four artists. One is from the New York area, and three are from Nashville. Uh, we have Claudia Heuser. We have Dallas Jacobus. We have um, Devin Beck. And we have Mitch Carter. We're, we're flying them in from Nashville and New York. Uh, they'll be here. We'll have some vendors outside, like pop-up shop kind of stuff. Credit Union of Texas is bringing a food truck for free. So, I mean, you, you can come get free food um, and buy a ticket and come hang out. $15. Come and go as you please. There will be drink specials, all that kind of stuff. So, I invite you back to kick off Frisco's biggest week of country music, right? The ACMs are on the Thursday the 16th. So we will have the first event, Monday the 13th. Tell your friends, please um, come back and have some fun with us, all right? All right, sir. Tomorrow night. And tomorrow night, I was gonna say that, um, we have two, we're bringing two comedians from New York City. Um, we have Ashley Austin Morris. She was a writer on Seinfeld, among other shows, and she's hilarious. <coughs> and also she's bringing with her Kinesis Circa, who is another well-known uh, comedian. And so they'll be here tomorrow evening, 8 p.m. There's There are some tickets still left, nacktheater.com. Come back, or, or I'll just keep talking and we'll just be here and it'll be eight o'clock tomorrow. All right, judges, you got your work cut out for you. 10 minutes or so, bathrooms, women's there, men's. We'll see you in 10. <laughs> Guys, it's so good to see you two again. Nice to meet you. Nice, or it's nice to see you, as I say. Um, I want to talk a little bit about, you know, you have to set the bar because you guys also went second. I want to talk about how do you guys feel going into this? Anxious. Anxious? Anxious? Yeah, yeah, excited. And, you know, anxious is kind of the same feeling. It's nice. excited. So, yeah. Nice to hear. Nice to hear. Um, and then I also, I also want to talk about your journey, you know, from the auditions and, and, and to now. What, what did it take to get this new dance down? And was it already rehearsed? Was it, you know? Well, we had it rehearsed, but we were doing different music, so we had to adapt to that. Right, right. Different music, different costumes, just brought a different vibe to it, yeah. and uh, finished up the story. Nice to hear, nice to hear. And lastly, I know you guys love bringing smiles, and you certainly did that. How do you guys think you did tonight? I got smiles out of the audience. That made it a good night. Bring it in joy. It was really great. Bring it in joy. I love it, I love it. Thank you guys so much. It was good to see you again. Thank you. No problem. All right. All righty, guys. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you again, Luciana. Um, sorry about that. Um, you know, you were here last time as a solo. You had to set the bar with the band this time. How was that? How was that for all you guys? I think it was cool, I guess. It was cool? It was cool. You know, it was definitely a scary thing. My voice has been acting up this week, so I kind of was like, please cover for me. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It was kind of fun. <laughs> okay, nice to see you. It was fun. Um, what was the journey like getting, you know, the rehearsed test? Did you guys already have it down or... Oh, yeah, pretty much sure, I think. Yeah, so we we have a set list, and it's one of the songs on our set list. I played it with, I played that song solo. I played it with bands of, like, seven or eight people, and we tried to do it with just the three of us, and 
came out decent, I think. Nice year, nice year. And if you guys win this cash prize, well, how's this going to impact y'all's band moving forward? I don't know. <laughs> I will be $333.33 less in debt on a guitar. Nice. Same. Same, same. All right, good to hear from you guys. Thank you so much. I hope you guys win this thing. No problem, no problem. Good to see you guys. Alrighty. Hi. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. You know, your voice has got to be one of the most, like, beautiful things I've ever seen from a child like you, you know. And I, I mean that honestly. And uh, what did it take, you know, to get this new one down for you? Uh, like the song or? Uh, yeah, because you know you had to play the guitar and stuff. Um, I just practiced for one week. Yeah, you know, practice makes perfect, as they say. Um, it was amazing. And uh, how do you think you did tonight with it? I hope I did good. Um, I think I did good. That's good to hear. You know, you never know. You never know until the end. And um, I think I asked you last time, is it still the same answer? If you win this thing, are you still paying this for college tuition? No. No? Well, what's the difference, Sean? Actually, yeah, I have nothing else in mind. So want to do that? All right. Well, thank you so much. It was good to hear you. Good to see you. Hello, Grace. It's nice to see you again. I remember you last week, or not last, but last time, and what an emotional performance it was. It was beautiful. It was great. Your aura is beautiful. You know, I want to talk a little bit about how did you have to get this down? You know, you had to dance on stage to the release some stuff or what? Um, well, it took it took a lot of practice, but all that dancing was just what, what came in the moment and um, just feeling the song. It's nice too, you know? You got to feel the beat sometimes. And, uh, you know, I know you have a bunch of supporters out there. Uh, you know, you have a bunch of family. Is there anything you want to say to anyone out there that you just feel like you want to get off your chest right now? Um, no matter what, keep doing what you love. Even if um, you feel like at the moment not a lot of people are supporting you, usually hard work will pay off. So just keep doing what you want to do. And, yeah. Well, thank you so much, Race. That was beautiful. All righty, Sean. Nice to meet you again. Um, you know, I saw you brought the piano out this time. What was that like? Was that a challenge for you? Or? Um, it was about, it was out of my comfort zone. Not really a challenge, just unusual. 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 And, um, you know, you prepped, you prepped. Um, what did it, What was the challenge you had to face while prepping, you know, to get here today from the auditions? Definitely commitment. Practice uh, was probably one of the hardest ones. But, I mean, hey, it's just time, 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 you know? And uh, lastly, to close this off, to anyone out there, family, friends, supporters, what do you want to say to them for the camera here? Practice, 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 and you can do whatever you want. Whatever you want. Love to hear it, Sean. Thank you so much, man. Hello, girls. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Hello, hello, hello. I wanted to ask you guys again, what was the name of y'all's little dance group? Wait, was it? The Movement Project. <laughs> the Movement Project. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, you know, you guys tap danced this time. That was a little change. What was it like changing that from the superhero dance that you guys did last time? Um, it wasn't really, like, that much of a change because we can beat these dances, like, every once in a while. And every win. single yeah. one is pretty much so fun. It's all different styles, yeah. so we kind of, like, were familiar with this. Yeah, yeah. I see it. And you guys said last time you guys wanted to get a bing bag with the prize. Is that still the answer? Yes. Yes, yes. 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 Okay, okay. And lastly... To anybody, family, friends, you know, anybody out there, you want to give them a message, something, something to rely on. Um, thank you for all, everything you do, and I'm pretty sure all of us will say the same. We wouldn't be here without y'all. Yes. All right, all right. Well, thank you, girls. Thank you, girls. And is there? Um, even if you don't win today, you're so beautiful. Everyone was good here. I loved all the voices, and they're all great. Even if you don't win, still keep going. All right. Well, thank you so much, girls. I hope you guys the best of luck. Hello, Piper. Nice to see you again. Um, you know, you brought a little different of a voice this time. You brought a strong voice. Like off the rip, it was it was powerful. So I wanted to ask you, what what took you uh, like the process for that? You know, from the auditions to now, what was the process of changing? Um, I just kept on working and working and working nonstop. Okay. Nice to hear. Nice to hear. And um. You know, you, you're very mature as a, as a child. You know, is there just like a certain essence that you try to bring to the stage? Um, I try to, I try to make people enjoy what I do. So. I love that. I love that. Um, and lastly, you know, 
you, you didn't give me an answer last time if you won the prize, and I wanted to get one this time from you. What were you doing with the prize? Um, I'm gonna do. It with, I'm gonna save it for my college funds. Okay, nice year, nice year. That's so cool. Um, thank you so much, Piper. I wish you the best of luck moving forward. Hello, Chelsea. Um, last time, I think I told you I wouldn't doubt if you were a Broadway singer, you know, um, and I still wouldn't doubt that because the, the presence you bring on stage is so, like, theatrical, but it's so good. I don't know, but how would you say you prep for this? Um, I sat in my room and contemplated what I would sing. Um, I didn't want to be too big or too small, um, and then I came up with this one, which kind of gave, like, kind of the same vibe as I gave last time. Nice singer, nice singer. <clears throat> And uh, you said you had your wisdom teeth out before this. That's pretty hard challenge. What, what did it take to face that? Um, so my mouth hurts so bad right now. It's all across. Um, I'm on so many different medication right now uh, just so I can be able to, like, open my mouth because right now my jaw won't open entirely. Yeah. <laughs> that sucks, especially if you're a singer. But um, I wanted to lastly, lastly ask you, is there anything you want to say to the people out there, supporters, friends, family? Um. Follow your dreams. Your parents are not lying to you. You're good. <laughs> uh, just keep going. Good to hear. Thank you, Chelsea. Hello, hello. Nice to see you again. Um, sparkly outfit there, you know. Uh, but, uh, I wanted to ask you, uh, how are you feeling now from the auditions to now, and like, what did it take to get here today? Um, I feel a lot better than I did before, and I feel more confident. Okay, okay, feeling more confident. Um, how, how then with the confidence, how do you feel you did tonight with your performance? Um, I think I did pretty good. Okay, okay, that's good to hear, you know. And uh, I want to ask you if there's anything you want to say to the people out there, family, friends? Um, just try your best because it's enough. It's enough. All right, well, thank you so much. Hello, nice to see you again. You know, uh, I remember last time you told me you had a little music thing. Is there you want to plug real quick? Um, so my Instagram is Raven Renee, spelled R A V Y N R E N A E, and I have a song out um, on every platform. So if you just search my name and then the song is called Made Up My Mind, uh, you can pretty much find it anywhere. It's very nice to hear. Um, you brought an emotional performance today. I yeah, love to hit from over here from my standpoint. Uh, how did it feel going into that, knowing you had to bring that, you know, energy and emotional, you know, feeling to them? I honestly didn't think I would have all that emotion, uh, like, being there and then going up there. Um, I've This is the first time I've ever performed this song for people, so, like, all that emotion kind of just came out. And then, of course, like, having to retell a little bit of the story of the song, bring a little bit more of the emotions out. Yeah, yeah. and that, that's, very, that's very relatable. Um is there anything you want to say to the family, friends, and supporters you got out there? Thank you, Mom and Dad, so much. I love you, and I can't wait to bring you with me wherever I go. That's very lovely to hear. Well, thank you so much. I hope you're the best moving forward. No problem. All righty. Is that all of them? Judges.
Alrighty, guys. There's so much talent here tonight. I wanted to ask you guys two quick questions. Uh, first one being, what are you looking for to come out this town? That's actually a really hard question to answer because they're all so uniquely different. Yeah. But I, what I know I was looking for tonight is that it's awesome to come out and nail it once. But to come out and do it again and do it better, that's when it really gets exciting. And that's what a lot of them did today. Yeah, for me, the talent was so good. It was who could separate themselves? Who, who could say, I'm good, but I'm great? And then who, who could go to excellent? And a few of them stood out tonight. That was really cool. You know, for me, I truly love watching all of our performers tonight. It really shows the diversity of Frisco talent. And um, even with our younger performers, seeing them in the next five years, ten years, what are we going to have coming out of the city? It's going to be amazing. I think for me, what's most important is that the performer feels comfortable on stage. They're confident. Obviously, they've got great vocals or they're a brilliant dancer. But it's what they believe in themselves. I think that matters the most at the end of the day. And uh, la last last quick question I want to ask you guys. Was it difficult making this choice tonight? It was so difficult. We have a hard job. But I'll say we feel really good about the decision. Is that fair? Because there was a lot of talent tonight. But I think you'll be happy with our decision. Yes, for all the competitions we've done here at the Knack Theater, this was the most difficult to pick a winner. The nice thing is with the blind test amongst the three of us, we all had the same winner on our piece of paper. So we're, we're pretty excited to announce that. Yeah, I echo both their sentiment on that. We, um, we did. We came to a pretty quick agreement. And uh, it is obvious, you know, when you think about what it means to be a Frisco's Got Talent winner, I think you'll see who we chose really shines through tonight. But um, everybody here was beyond talented. You know, I got to participate in one of these last year, and the talent we had in this performance session was amazing. Can I say one more thing? I think this is important. The judges, we all said this at one point tonight, but I know that we meant it. I just hope that everybody who competed in this competition continues on with their talent because they really have something, each of them. Well, uh, thank you guys so much. I can't wait to see this winner, and uh, let's go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting to that time to announce our top three. Breaking down to the winner, I'll let everybody get settled. Um, while we're doing that, I would like to once again thank our our team that's helped us tonight. I want to thank Dave Audio. I want to thank Rock Stars of Tomorrow, Kirk and Vanessa Cantu. Um, check them out. I want to thank our judges for being here this evening and volunteering their time and their passion. Crystal Howard, Donnie Churchman, Michelle Norris. Uh, I want to thank Film School Frisco. Well, really the students from Dallas Film School that are here there's 15 students here, as I told you, and Donnie and, and my business partner in the school effort, the director of the school, Brad Korn, right there. Give him a hand. Super talented man. Uh, it's a movement. That's what we want to call it. You're going to hear lots more about that. So thank you, all you students, for your hard work. It's really cool. Um, and so I'm going to now, I'm going to call up the top three judges. Do you want to say anything before I do about getting to that place? Jason, we have been doing this for about three years now with our competitions of Frisco Idol, Frisco's Got Talent, So You Think Frisco, You Can Dance, or something like that. Something, yeah. And this was easily the most talented competition we've ever had and easily the most difficult choice for us as judges. But I will say all three of us quickly agreed on who the winner was tonight right. um, without much debate. Uh, that being said everyone's got to keep going as you said there's winners and learners and hopefully everyone learns from tonight because everyone certainly won yeah i totally agree crystal any any thoughts no i agree completely we immediately backstage all agreed that this is the most talented group we've seen and everybody brought it tonight and we're so proud of everybody who came on this stage they did a great job and i can't wait to see where all of them go next 
thing for me is just the continual encouragement. Everyone that performed tonight has so much potential and where they can go from our younger performers to our older performers. There's there's just no limit to your possibilities and you all deserve to win tonight. Absolutely. And and to tag on to that too, yes, there will be one winner tonight, but when Donnie was saying before, do you want to do a show here? It's serious. We've had performers from the past that will will, you know, produce the show for them to come do their first concert and or their first comedy or whatever it is. And so so just because you know the, the night's ending now, our relationship with y'all will continue as much as you want it to, um, as you continue to grow in your talents and stuff like that. Um, Crystal does such a great job championing uh, all the businesses with the Frisco Chamber role that this, as the, the president and CEO over there and, and just giving your time tonight to be here. Thank you so much. She gives so much to this community. If you don't know her, you should, and just give her a hug and thank her, or a high five, maybe a handshake, I don't know, but I'm a hugger. But um, thank you, Crystal, really. And Michelle, the cool thing about Michelle, she is in charge of all arts stuff in Frisco, flows through her team. And so they do like the singer-songwriter, the Calaboose, right? They, and so a lot of the talent too, we can connect you to Michelle and her team to continue to find opportunities to perform around the city, we have friends that have different bars and restaurants and, and different outlets. So it doesn't have to stop here tonight is what I'm trying to say. Um, and, and all of you are worthy of that. What's that? I'm going to, yeah. Um, but so now I'm going to have the, the top three come up, okay? And then we're going to go three, two, one. All right? So don't, you know, it's not me. I'm not a judge. No. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right. So in no particular order. The top three for tonight's live finale show is Valentina Bosefki. <laughs> Come on up, Valentina. Joining Valentina on the stage, give her a hand. Good job. Okay, why don't you stand right, right there. Okay. Taking a spot next to Valentina, how about Raven DeBull? Congratulations. Okay. And then rounding out our top three, there can only be three, Harper Bleer. Okay, again, I would like to, um, before we announce the winner, just thank all seven of our acts. You were all amazing. I want to thank our audience. Like I said at the beginning, those of you that love those seven acts, um, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing that love with all the acts tonight. You are an awesome audience. So thank you so much. Give yourselves a hand. Okay. Um, and as we announce the winner, I'd like to ask our presenting sponsor to join us in that moment. So Mark and Tiffany Hill, come on up here. Give them a hand for helping us make this possible. The winner was all Mark's choice. So if you don't, no, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> hey, Tiffany. Okay. So we have the lovely Hill family now. We're going to say we're going to go third place, okay? Um, so third place, one, two, three, we have in third place, Valentina Basefki. <laughs> Congratulations, Valentina. Well done. You can, you can go back to your fans and family. Yes? Congratulations. <laughs> Let's not trip over that. All right. That seems like a OSHA issue or something. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, okay. In second place tonight, we have Harper Bleer. Congratulations, Harper. Great job, girl. And that means the winner of season three, Raven DeVoe.
Congratulations. What are you thinking, Raven? This is Tiffany. And you got Mr. Mark Hill. How are you feeling, Raven? Oh my goodness. I <laughs> was so nervous up here. That song brought so many emotions back from two years ago. And something I forgot to mention was um, I was 15 years old when I wrote that song. So that's a lot of emotions coming from a 15 year old. And also you were talking about Nashville. I got accepted into the School of Music at Belmont. And All right. The kids just keep coming. My sister went to Belmont. Yeah, she did. Congratulations. Judges, any last words for her? No? All right, we're just going to roll with that. Thank you guys so much. Congratulations, Raven. Thank you guys for coming. We'll see you at our next event. Thank you for your support. Y'all be safe getting home. God bless. How's it going over here? You know, finally got it out. All right, all right. Uh, first question I want to ask was the winner. How are you feeling right now? How's, how's it going? I'm feeling honestly super excited. Um, I, like I said before, I was really quite nervous to sing this song. It brought a lot of emotions back. All that. Um, I'm just so happy and so thankful that we had such a great panel of judges and such a great audience. Of course, of course. And lastly, judges, I wanted to ask you, how does it feel to see Raven's journey and finally just like tell her she's the winner? Oh, it's absolutely thrilling. Um, we just kind of all of a sudden we knew. We knew that you were the one. And I can't wait to see where you go, especially with the school you're going to be going. And congratulations on that as well. It's a real honor. What's great is there's a lot of talent that is right behind her. And they're coming up behind her. And she kind of got to set the path tonight. And with her excellence in singing and songwriting, uh, she was just so fabulous for them and a, a, just a great role model for them. Yeah, we all just felt her emotion. And that's what an artist does, right, is you feel it with them. And so I think that's what made her talent just rise above. But then I loved seeing you with the other contestants as well. You're so sweet and gracious and nurturing. So you are an excellent role model. And Donnie's right. I can't wait to see what all these talented contestants do. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. That's all I got for you guys. I wish you guys the best of luck moving forward with whatever goes on. And you too, Raven. I wish you the best of luck. And uh, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys have a good night. All right. Now, guys, this concludes Crisco's Got Talent. It was a wonderful night tonight. I hope you guys have a good night. Stay tuned. Sign out.